If you're using Oracle, you're going to have to pull date information from Dual, but not in Teradata. As you can see here, my friends, select date, current date, time, current time, and current timestamp. There is no timestamp keyword here, only current timestamp. But as you can see, you will then get your date and time and timestamp information. You will even get what time zone this is in, a minus four here from Greenwich Mean Time, and that's how dates and times and timestamps can be gotten so easily just with the keywords. I was celebrating my birthday last year and I told everybody, hey everybody, it's my birthday. And someone said, what year? And I go, every year. Some people, huh? Here we see how Teradata stores dates internally as a four byte integer. They won't display them this way, but they got a little formula. The formula looks complex. It's so simple. Let's take my birthday, January 10th, 1959. Let's take the year 1959 minus 1900 equals 59. Duh, I was born in 59. I get that, but why multiply it by 10,000? So they can put four zeros after the 59 and no other calculation will alter the year. It's already set. Plus January 01 times 100, that's gonna move 0100 to the third and fourth spot, and then they can add the day. That's how they store the dates internally. My birthday in 1985, that exact date was 8501.10. In 1998, that date would have been 9801.10. In 99, it would have been 9901.10. What would it have been in the year 2000. 100 10 based on the formula. In 2014, it was 114 10 That's how the dates are going to work. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit CoughingDW.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.